Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. Hi, today I am uh, unboxing uh, a motherboard by ASUS or ASUS, um, some people prefer ASUS, uh, and this is the um, Prime X670P uh, Wi Fi uh, motherboard. Uh, it's for the AM5 socket, uh, so AMD based, and this is going to go into the computer um, that you saw me unbox the case uh, in the previous video. And uh, so we're going to have a look at what's inside here. Uh, it sort of comes uh, quite substantial, lots of things on the back, uh, lots of specs and things. It's got um, it's got PCI Express 4 um, on the uh, uh, the PCI Express uh, ports there, but it's got PCI Express 5 as well for the uh, solid state uh, drive or the NVMe drive. So we'll have a look at what's inside. Okay, it's quite heavy. Uh, quite a weighty uh, box. Uh, so anyway, what we've got inside, uh, it comes nicely sort of packaged there. It's, this is only kind of the, more of the entry level. It's a higher chipset, the 670 chipset, but it's the kind of the lower end of the 670. I mean, you can spend, this was 275 pounds. Uh, you can spend an awful lot more uh, on these motherboards. You can spend uh, 500 pounds at the top end or more. Uh, I think they've seen some for nearly a thousand pounds, which what you get uh, for those is quite, um, uh, is it significantly more? Uh, but it all depends on the budget of your system, of course. And um, so uh, again, this, uh, take the board out here. Make sure I don't always try and hold it under the um, metal brackets here. I'll just put that to one side and I'll just put the box to one side here. So the motherboard um, here, you probably can't see yet with the reflections on here, but it sort of seems like a metal um, uh, on here, your metal heat sinks and things on here. And uh, so let's take this out and be careful we don't have any static. I'll just touch the case uh, on there to Make sure that's actually well, that's a good idea. I've got a static shock off that before, so uh, so it's always a good idea to touch something metal uh, before you handle these. And uh, I know some people like to use kind of these anti-static wristbands. Anyway, we'll just undo and do that. Um, of course, these anti-static bags are, of course, they're good. I've, I've seen one or two people use these uh, to place components on to test them. It's not a good idea because there's actually metal inside these and that could short out the circuitry on the back of your board uh, on here. Anyway, we've got a metal um, base plate uh, under here, uh, which is really good, uh, not plastic. Um, so that's kind of going to hold the... And of course, it's got the new... AM5 socket here, which is, um, and that, I don't know whether you can see that at all very well from here, but the AM5 socket uh, is uh, similar to the Intel sockets. They've gone for that kind of uh, where you, the pins are on the motherboard and not on the actual processor itself now. Um, so we've got, uh, so that just sort of lifts down, pulls up, and you've got this little protective cover here. Um, and of course all your pins are inside here, of course, um, and that's, I suppose, that's a little bit of plastic there, I think, so that obviously will come off for the heatsink and fan to go on, because you don't want to put that on the plastic, of course, but uh, I'll just cover that so I don't bend any pins at the moment. I don't want to actually uh, damage this before I've started. <laughs> and uh, so on here, what we've got is, we've got uh, three uh, full-size PCI Express uh, ports um, on here, uh, or uh, slots, um, and uh, this first one here is the full-speed uh, one, you put your graphics card in there, and then you've got also a smaller uh, one times uh, PCI Express port there. Uh, I think these are PCI Express 4, I believe, um, and uh, the um, NVMe drives fit, I think you get two here, and I think you get one under here. I think this one here is uh, the um, one for uh, the PCI Express 5, and uh, these two are PCI Express 4, I believe. Um, so, uh, so, but anyway, you can look up the specs, of course, online at the uh, ASUS website. Uh, but I like this metal plate here, which sort of, it's kind of, um, kind of as a heat shield I suppose uh, but it's it doesn't actually touch these um, ports 
here, uh, there's a little bit of a gap along here. Um, I assume that's probably standard, but you've got on here four USB three ports. Um, I think they might be USB two. You've got um, also um, the um, round socket there for your older keyboards and mice. Uh, in there which works that works with both keyboard and mouse um, sound is just kind of basic um, kind of uh, microphone input uh, you've got a line input and you've got an output uh, I think that's in the middle there and uh, so it's not super fantastic sound sort of thing not surround sound or anything like that uh, 5.1 sound or whatever as you get on some boards um, but you can always put in a better sound card of course if you were really into audio and things and um, again this is uh, uh, it's got another two more USB uh, three ports there or might be in 3.2 um, I think and um, it's got various headers on the motherboard uh, communication port that's still there the old serial port um, and uh, uh, so that's uh, kind of still keep that thing. They use that for testing things with. You've got USB two ports here by the looks of it. There's um, it's got actually six SATA ports, four here and two around here as well. And uh, it's got a USB th uh, three port here. Um, I'm not sure whether the, I'm hoping there's a USB three point two uh, or USB C um, port on here. I've got to check. Uh, specifications on this um, so and of course the power it takes the 20 normal 24 pin uh, on here then it also takes um, an 8 pin and a 4 pin power ports here as well so make sure you've got your right um, power supply to go in there um, usually some power supplies might have um, two of these 8 pin ports which split into four as well um, and, uh, and of course you've got various headers for fans and things CPU fan um, I think just there and it's got um, other case fans so one two three other case fans on there as well I think and um, so yes oh these are N NVMe um, ports here that's right you can put those there so again I'm not sure I have to check on this. I think that's an NVMe. Yeah, M yeah, the NVMe port there. Uh, that's the PCI Express five, and these two here are PCI Express uh, four, I think, or it might even be three. So I think I'm sure they're four. Uh, and uh, of course, your battery here as well. Of course, CMOS battery, and uh, of course, this uh, the it looks quite nicely made, quite solid. It feels very heavy and solid. It's also got Wi-Fi here as well, of course. Um, so we've, we'll come to that. And uh, we've actually got, if I undo, pull this out, and there's the uh, Wi-Fi uh, adapter here. And uh, I'll just get my um, scissors. And of course we've got Basically, there's your uh, cables there to go on the Wi-Fi, and uh, I've got a pair each there. And I think this must fit on here somewhere. Uh, I think, but it looks bit so that's sort of stand. I don't know. Is this magnetic? It doesn't feel like it's got any metal in there, so I don't think it is. Um, don't think that is metal. Uh, no, it doesn't feel metal. It doesn't, no, there's no no metal uh, in there. So that's just um, what's that. I don't know if that actually fits on there. Let's just check. So, excuse me, are we? The, um, no, I'm just testing it on the case, so out of camera. So, no, there's no metal. So, it's not magnetic, these are. Uh, some are magnetic and they can stick to your case. Uh, so, you've got also, um, i find on here, you've got your back plate, of course, uh, which is um, central, of course. Um, for your case, um, top of all the spiders from getting in there, <laughs> sort of. You've got two SATA um, cables here, uh, and um, so if you are planning on more drives, you'll need more of these cables, of course. Uh, then you've got various things. Oh, there's some. Um, these are little screws, little um, screws and standoffs for your NVMe drives here, and uh, you've got again some sort of little. Uh, rubber pad there as well for something and um, I think that's right more um, 
uh, standoffs for the uh, NVMe drives. Then, of course, your instruction manual here, which is um, quite relatively uh, simple-ish, sort of quite thin. So it gives you the usual layout of the motherboard and always worth checking which uh, where your RAM goes in as well, of course, yeah, which uh, ports um, when you're putting your RAM configuration. And uh, of course, talking of which, I've actually got the uh, RAM that I've got for this board is the um, uh, Kingston Fury uh, Beast RAM, which is, uh, and that um, uh, is sort of recommended for uh, AMD actually for the recommend that with the AMD uh, boards uh, so it's uh, and again this is I think 6,000 speed I think 6,000 megabits or megabytes a second I think that is um, and uh, I think the motherboard will do overclocking um, you can overclock the RAM but it doesn't really make any difference I think you've got 6,400 speed or um, I'm not sure if you get any more than that um, but uh, again it's uh, quite a substantial board and um, it's sort of a, again, this is kind of the entry level on the, um, the higher chipset, the, uh, the 670 chipset. There's the uh, B650 uh, chipset, which is uh, a little bit cheaper and um, say lower end. I mean, there's probably in reality, there's probably not much in it really. I think the 670 chipset probably has a wider bandwidth, I think, um, which, uh, kind of might help a little bit if you've got more NVMe drives and more ports and things um, attached and uh, but of course um, uh, if you've got more powerful graphics cards as well perhaps it helps but in reality it probably doesn't make a huge amount of difference um, but uh, yeah so this is a uh, quite a good board the previous generation the X570 chipsets um, is pro are probably um, they're about £100 cheaper or so than uh, than this now. Of course, they were a similar price to this, but they've uh, again come down. Um, I think the equivalent one of this might have been about £75 cheaper, I think, than this. So um, it's a fair bit cheaper, but you can build last year's um, system that based on the 5000 series um, with the Ryzen um, for quite a substantial amount less than the newer one. You always pay a premium for that newer. Uh, one anyway but yes we're going to see how this this does in the build and uh, so when I put it together uh, you'll see uh, you know uh, hopefully it all works okay anyway so I hope you've all enjoyed that oh and I'll do one just on the processor um, uh, shortly and um, and uh, unboxing that and uh, I've got a uh, graphics card and uh, things on there so um, so we're going to do that as well okay right okay thank you all for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this and hope it's been uh, useful to uh, some of you who are considering the um, uh, Ryzen, the new Ryzen 7000 series and uh, wondering what the um, uh, the boards are like and things uh, on this. Okay, thank you all for watching and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, see you all soon. Okay, bye. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications for future videos. Future videos.